Hello, everybody. This is a little breakdown of my song, See What I See. I just kind of wanted to show everybody, if you're interested in the process of how I get my sounds, how I do my vocals, uh, everything like that, um, and just show you what I started with and what the song ended up being. So let's dive in. So first things first, I recorded my GS Mini, um, panned it hard left, hard right. And this is just kind of like what I started with. Next thing I did was, this is, by the way, this is like the first project. So it's, I like, I just wanted to show you what I started off with and then I moved everything to a new project. I've got my Moog Matriarch that I just played some chords through. And then I like grouped a bunch of different, not like takes, but just different voicings and, and like reverse some things. And this is what I got. Anyways, that's pretty cool. Um, did some like basic, super basic drums on top of those two things. And then added a bunch of little like filler. Um, and like this also came from that same synth. Just like a bunch of little, little things to just feel it out. And then I don't know what this vocal is going to sound like. So we're about to find out. But this is what this, <laughs> I literally have not listened to this. Um, so let's see what I did. This is what I started off with. I'll try to figure out a way to your smile Running for miles, take my time Hoping it'll be worthwhile Having my doubts, looking for signs That I'm not making a mistake How long should this take? Cross that line Knowing that I can't escape the way that I So the melody was there I just didn't know what I wanted to write about So I was just saying random things Now let's go into like the final um, project Disclaimer, this is the final production, but the final mix was done by my boy Josh um, in Nashville. I'm going to butcher his last name. Josh ben Bonanno? Banano? <laughs> Banano. It's definitely not Banano. Anyways, Josh, if you're seeing this, I'm sorry if I butchered your, <laughs> butchered your last name. But he's really sick. Six. He's really sick. Um, he really... I just send like the mix that I have to him. And he just like tightens everything up, uh, just adds a little shine and sparkle to it, basically. We'll mute the vocals. We'll do the vocals last. A lot of it's the same of what I had in the original project. I'm going to play through the beginning of this, like the verse, and then I'll go through the sounds. I'm going to mute the vocal, though. In terms of instruments, we've got the main guitar. We've already been over that. And then also these little, like, bloops is what I call them. Little plucky things. Just adding movement. The main synth, I call it a synth, but I don't know when I recorded it and, like, flattened it and froze it. So I can't go back. I mean, I do have the old project file, but I don't feel like going through all that. But this is like the synth throughout the whole song. Well, another one of the synths. And that's actually my acoustic guitar, my GS Mini. I don't know what I did. I think I half-timed it. Yeah, I just messed with it. And it that doesn't even sound like it sounds like a synth. I guess the transients make it sound like a guitar or something, but anyways, there's like a little break in the phrases. We'll go over the vocal later, but a break in the phrases. I've got like this little loop. Yeah, so those two, they just complemented the song really well. Drums, same thing, just like this little clap going. 
that's pretty much that's all that's the only thing that's going on in the verse so and then also more fully going into the chorus so that's leading into the chorus the chorus all together <laughs> Something that I really like to do, um, one of my biggest inspirations is none other than Jeremy Zucker. And uh, he just, like, adds a lot of, like, foley and, like, these, like, white noise and, like, these little, like, bit crush things. Um, um, so that's, like, what you're hearing, like, all these little things going on. Like, I'll solo the drums. For this song, I did use my sub fatty, um, and that's like kind of taking care of the low end. But I also ran my strat, my Stratocaster, through like an octaver pedal to like get like a real bass feel. So I mixed those two together. But these, this is the sub fatty by itself. And then the strat by itself. And then together. A bit crush thing, I think, going on. Some crushiness on the uh crushiness is crazy. Crushiness on the on the chorus to like add some add some stuff to it. And then we've got the moog still going. As far as instrumentation, that's like all that's going on. Uh, oh, and this little this little riser thing that's filtered. It, the filter opens up in the, in the next two courses. But anyways, so that's that. Um, next, we jump into the verse. The only thing that's really I just take some things out. The only thing that's really being added is the drums. There's like a I think it's a loop. Yeah, a little loop that I had that I crushed. So we'll listen to that by it's, we'll listen to the verse by itself. <laughs> First things first, this little loop we've got going really adds like a breakbeat kind of vibe. I don't know if that's the right term, but I have RC20 on it. All my producers out there, all my homies love RC20. Oh, I also have Transient Designer taking the sustain down because there was like some reverb in the... Let's see if I can solo. Like if I take off the Transient. Just like tightens it up. I use Transient Designer for all my loops. Like if I need to change the attack and decay and sustain. Not decay, but sustain. Um, and then I've got like some drum fills. And they're all different. That's kind of like, the like it just sounds like it's all over the place. Like in the best way. Because it's like sounds like different. It's not like the same kit. If that makes sense. It just sounds super... Um, super different and all over the place. Let me change the kick up a little bit. I think I changed the kick. Just more like, not as soft, really hard hitting. And then for the second part of the verse, I shifted all the instrumentation like a, how many notes is that? An eighth note, an eighth note to the right. Um, and it just gives it this weird like swing. I don't even know if that's the right term. I'm not like a musical theory knowledge person at all so i just do what sounds good and then i call it a day <laughs> i don't get into all the specifics but you can like hear the shift so there's just like this shift that just adds like a cool uh dynamic and then Going into the chorus, I've got like this crushed, reverbed out uh, snare that just gives it some more dynamic. 
just like a cool, cool vibe. Vocal is really carrying this song. Um, so I can't wait to dive into that. But let's see what the second chorus sounds like. <laughs> stuff going on in the drums for sure that loop is now in the in the chorus added more percussion and fills um i added this percussion loop too let's listen this lfo riser thing again that's really cool this is a really sick i guess a saturation plug in um it's really cool um and then i've got this electric guitar loop let's see what i did with this let's see let's see let's see just adding adding depth synth three let's see just adding depth so that's basically the instrumentation for the chorus breakdown section is just the drums the everything else is doing the same but the drums are like filling Or, I mean, the bridge comes in. I think I've just got this little pad going. For the bridge, I think I played these little chords. So I've got like this little tape stop thing and I just bounced it. Um, that's why it goes like the pitch goes down. I just got this fill loop, this little, I call I called it a bloop loop. Let's see. Yeah, it's that same synth. Same synth, just like sustained out. I mean, but it was just some like people talking. I like reverbed it out, um, tape stopped that as well. Really cool moment um, in the song. Probably one of my favorite moments is whenever everything dies down. Last chorus, big chorus. I've got this acoustic that I recorded. I pitched, I recorded it two semitones up and then pitched it down because like my guitar, I originally wrote it in a different key and then changed the key and my guitar, like I, I didn't feel like retuning it. Anyways, so this is what the last chorus sounds like. Super cool. Uh, I love, that's probably one of my favorite like productions um, of that last chorus. So you hear a lot more uh, little moments um, in between the snare. So that's a really cool moment, the what the, and then, and then the bleep. But here are those acoustic guitar strums. So that's that. So my vocals are recorded through a Neumann TLM 102 into my Heritage Audio preamp. I don't know what model it is. From the preamp to my distressor, which is um, 
if you're a producer, you know what a distressor is. It's a really versatile compressor. From my distressor into my UAD Apollo Twin, um, then into Ableton. And from Ableton, um, it goes through this chain. So we've got a little auto-tune. Um, Retune is 30, flex tune 13, humanize 30. It's kind of like just like a standard little setting. And then we're going through soothe as a de-esser, pro Q for a little cleanup. This 1176, not the white one. So the white one, the white uh, 1176 does like this little boost, this little high end, like crisp crispness and sometimes i like it but for this song i think i was already pretty high end because the mic that that mic is pretty pretty crispy already so i just did the 1176 and then uh, another compressor h comp um it's like my go-to i think i've used it on every single song i've ever released i just i've gotten i've gotten to like the sound of it a lot and then soothe again and then soothe again um just cleaning up some stuff obviously for the final I'm sure Josh added some other things to to it as well um, to clean it up and like soften it a little bit. But this is just what I had sent him. And it's pretty close to the final thing. But anyways, we'll listen to it with the without the drums. I'm not gonna act like I'm fine Spending my time wasting nights Convincing myself I'm alright Won't think twice Maybe I just... Have a little dignity It's hard to believe that you don't care To see what I see And so another thing you hear in this song Is the reverb is like turning off and on On the down hits of the snare So that's really cool Also with the vocal we have doubles I gonna act like I'm fine Spending my time wasting nights Convincing And then we have an octave above I'm not gonna act like I'm fine Spending my time wasting nights And then harmonies Like I'm fine Spending my time wasting nights Convincing myself I'm alright And then there was this crushed version that I had where I like ran my voice through a bit crusher and that really is like the most important take I think um it really gives like seals the vibe of the whole song I'm not gonna act like I'm fine spending my time wasting nights convincing myself I'm all right well and you notice it comes in on like only certain words and phrases I did the same thing with these gang vocals I'm not gonna act like I'm fine spending my time wasting nights convincing myself I'm all right won't think twice maybe I just yeah, so super cool. Um, this next one, I was like, I so I pitched the song down. I remember how many semitones. I pitched the song down, like resampled it, and recorded a take in that key of me like yelling. Then I ran it through all of this, like to get it like distorted and stuff. And then I pitched it back up with the whole song, and this is what it sounds like by itself. Yeah, so just adds like a little crunch. I'm not gonna act like I'm fine Spending my time wasting nights Convincing myself I'm alright Won't think twice, maybe I just Have a little dignity It's hard to believe that you don't care To see what I see so another really cool moment is the bridge. Did like these like random, if you notice in the bridge, I'll play the bridge real quick. It was like throughout like the last part of the bridge, I like was like fed up with what I was, if like the whole idea of the song is being fed up with somebody like not being able to see your perspective on certain things and they can't like see the destruction that's happening in their own life when you're like trying to help them. At the end of the bridge, I'm like, I'm like, honestly, whatever. And like, all these other voices like telling me to shut up like I'm done talking about it so if you listen we'll listen through real quick I'll try to make both of our worlds collide you're just blind to things you do I've told you about a thousand times yeah all right whatever I'm not gonna act like I'm
And that's without the drums, just so you can hear everything. Um, Shut up. Holy shit. <laughs> it just adds like a really cool, really cool vibe. But that's pretty much it. Yeah. Alright, whatever. I'm not gonna act like I'm fine. Spending my time wasting nights. Convincing myself I'm alright. Won't think twice. Maybe I just have a little dignity. It's hard to believe that you don't care to see what I see. Last thing is these little hums that I did for the outro. It's a pretty sick little moment.